Hello everyone. So today we are going to add this animated train car uh, to our train simulation system. So we will have like rotating wheels and doors open and close, things like that. So in this episode we are going to look into how, uh, how to use uh, skeletal mesh components for these train cars to the procedural train blueprint that we have developed because we were up until now we were we have been using static meshes and today we are going to replace those static meshes with this skeletal train car meshes so that we can have animations for doors and for wheels etc so here is a demonstration If you pay attention, you can see the wheels start rotating. So that's what I am going to work on today. So I have created this very primitive looking uh, animated trade car and i have already imported that into the project so here we have some door open and close animations for both sides and also moving animation where the wheels rotate okay so now uh, we are currently using some static meshes so we need to replace these static meshes with the skeletal meshes so let's go to the blueprint and take a look at how we add cars so actually it's here uh, wait no it's in the construction script this is where we add static mesh components for car now instead of static meshes we need to add skeletal meshes so how should we do that uh, add skeletal mesh component and here we can select train car and uh, let me disconnect this for now until I finish the coding part because as uh, once I press compile it always uh, executes because this is connected in the construction script which I want to avoid right now this one let's see where the rep references only at places Okay, so I'll convert this to a skeletal mesh component. Skeletal mesh component object reference. Right. Okay. This is fine. Now we can add unique from here. And we should connect it this way. So scale, sorry, not the scale, the location, same as the static mesh and rotation is also same scale is also same okay now let me remove this and the next place where we access get cars is here uh, in the update car so here I'll run another voltage loop 
<coughs> Should I disconnect this? But it was on. Okay. And then we can use the index here. And this is set world location and rotation. Target is same component. So I think I should be able to use the skeletal mesh as well. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Right. Now delete this one. To make it a bit more clear, let me drag it down like this. All right, now I'll go back here and set the construction script. Okay, now if you see the train is complete and but you see there is a bit of an overlap because this uh, skeletal mesh train car is a bit longer than the static mesh train car so here we can adjust this no, still there is some all that. Okay, that's a bit too much. Okay, this seems fine. Right. Now let's simulate and see if things are still working. It is working without any issue. Okay. Metal. I used blue. I'll use the same but just it's not important but okay all right so now in order to do stuff like rotating these wheels and open the doors we need to have a animation blueprint so let me create an anime blueprint ABP train car right now he has the default animation this is the open This one is the open right side. This one is moving. So I'll use this move as the default dimension. And also, I'll add montage. Sorry, montage slot. Right. Now, if I simulate, oh wait, I still haven't added 
the animation blueprint into the mesh so I need to do that here when I add a skeletal mesh component use animation blueprint ABB train car right now if I simulate you see the wheels are rotating right it's not looping it stops in life here if I need to loop this loop animation uh, but now it will rotate but we don't have a way to stop it or change the speed but we do have the animation so in order to allow change in speed let me create a plane space psp one d train okay now here a is move I'll add it here now it always rotates let me add it again in here and set the player rate can I set to zero I can't set to zero okay I need something like an idle animation Let me click at this yes I do. right now here uh, remove frames from one to whatever the value and then append at end hundred frames so now we do have an idle animation save it go back here let's move more you side okay now here it's not moving as we move to the edge you see it starts moving okay that's enough and I'll name this axis speed uh, now I'm not really sure how fast the train goes so here in the update class of it before that We have to set this up instead of a small now I have to use I can use this and promote this speed to variable now if I can just update it try get on try in the train do I have an interface no Let me quickly create an interface. The API problem. Get speed. It should return a float value. Speed. <coughs> okay. Now in the train, I'll implement it. PPI train. Now I have the interface get the speed. So how do we get the speed? Actually, we do have a speed variable, and that multiplied by delta seconds. So this is the speed. So for now, I'll just return this value. 
but this may not be 100% accurate but we will have some change in speed now in here in here we can just need to check if it is work if yes we can get speed and update the speed variable right now if I simulate initially it's not rotating but when the train starts moving it should rotate It's hard to okay. Maybe it's too slow. Well, let me. this big value just to see what kind of a value I have there okay starts from zero okay it is rotating but that's too fast to see Alright, we should return this section. We should print this value because that's what we give as the speed. Ah, right, that's why we don't see much of a movement. Okay. So then I'll add another multiplier. This multiplied by print. because its speed goes to something like six hundred. it rotates yeah but it drags for a long time oh this was a mistake I had left yeah I had left the rate of the idle as 0 0.01 it should be 1 so now I should quickly see a change in moment change in rotation even though it's not accurate yeah, see, it's rotating. Okay. Alright. Now we have that part. So, the other thing is, initially, the door should open and then close and then it should start moving. But, I will look into that in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.